<laughs> okay, so we've got um, someone who's Spanish, um, and we've got some Spanish dwarves at 1420 versus Andy Davos Pro Elves at, 17 to, at 1270. Um, and we've got Trainor. Trainor, 6 4 and 2. Um, with much mighty blow guard tackle spam. Okay, this will be fun. It only happens when you lose players or a game. That is true, actually, I'll play. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think the server's just freaked out a little bit. Uh, Apostas. What's that? What? What's the little swords and stuff? Wait, is that what the PI, PI thing stands for? Yeah, it, PI stands for Spanish in Spanish. You know, like English, um, in England, uh, UK stands for English, um, PI stands for Spanish. I don't know why, but it is. Right, um, it's a real shame, but we can't afford a babe here. Because um, I think a babe would have been really, really helpful. But we'll take the wizard and we'll move on with our lives. Um, what is this? This is match seven, I think. Yeah, match seven, and that's what the roster looks like. Delighted to have taken the double wrestle there. Um... And we got three wrestles overall. I think overall game plan is probably to deploy the wizard with the combination of edge five and uh, nerves of steel. Uh, not looking to, to to score too quickly on their offense, um, and then uh, smash through and score on my offense fairly quickly. Uh, FX says is edge six going to be a thing um, on that edge five. Hell yes. Yeah. So he plays in defense. Um, sure. So <laughs> we've just done some setups on defense and stuff. Um, what we can now think about then is what is our goal and what are we trying to achieve? And how many good players have we got? So how many good players have we got? Well, annoyingly, because he's got so much tackle and mighty blow, um, how many good players have we got that we don't want to get smashed in the head? I think the answer to that question is one, two, certainly three, maybe four. So if I can deploy a 353 three setup, I will do. Um, the trouble is, I can't easily deploy 3-5-3 because of Frenzy on this side and the tackle Mighty Blow. So, we're therefore going to drop this into a 3-4-3 three, three setup. Um, whoops. Uh, sorry, a 3-4-4 four, four setup. Um, which gives me the ability to put you there. You there. What I might actually do is, is, is sort of sneakily try and get away with this. So we'll go with this, right? Actually. And I think we might get a gap this side. So I'm going to go with this. Right, it's it's a weird 3-5-3. Three, three, sorry, yeah, 3-5-3. Three, three, um, on the basis that we just might find a gap to get through. Uh, Ochi Joy, as a Spaniard, I feel like you, I, I should have you know it already. But I learn something every day. Wait, is it Peninsula Iberica? Um, I think so, yeah. Um, now, there's only seven Portuguese guys, so they don't count. It's 3-5-3, Crystal Hunter. Come on now. Um, there we go. 3-5-3, yes. 3-5-3. Uh, really need a kick player on this team. I had completely forgotten about that with the wrestles. Wrestly wrestles. Um, what's he got skills wise? So he's got a kickoff return and he's got fend. So um, what's going to happen here strategically is he's going to create a guard wall and trundle down the field with guard. And what I'm going to try and do is get out of the way. 
Um, yeah, that's a rubbish kick. And I think you can... Oh, that's maybe bad. <laughs> oh. And you can see now immediately why kick is such a high value skill on an elf team. Because if imagine if I'd put the ball there, look at the space that I've created, right? And this is why the setup is was super duper important. Why I needed to get a kick over there because we could have just charged down the side and got and done some damage. Here, he's already he's already got the drive doing exactly what he wants, and I'm in trouble. Lost a player already. And these are all 30% removals, right? 30% removals. So he's a 30, a 30, and a 45. It's not, not surprising I've lost a player already. Uh, like the idea of wood swings the same. You don't have to come in from middle. It's like a protect five. So I quite like this setup. Yeah. And I now have to decide what am I trying to achieve? What what am I actually trying to achieve with this? And I think the answer really is run the hell, run away. I'm not going to fight into this. I'll just get smashed to pieces. If I fight into this, I will just get smashed. Thirty or thirteen. Um, so removal chances against armor seven. Um, base removal chance is seventeen percent. With mighty blow, it's thirty percent. With mighty blow and piling on, it's forty-five percent. So it's basically doubles on each jump, right? That is basically twice as much as that, and that's another 50%. So that's Mighty Blow, and that's piling on. So when he's knocking me over, and he's knocking me over fairly reliably, he's on a 30% removal. With the Troll Slayer, he's on a 45% removal. It's nuts. It's why they got rid of this in Blood Bowl 2020, because it's stupid. That's why Claw Palm is such a problem. And why as you go up team value... Ugh, oh, I don't want to save this. Um, as we go up in team value, Claw Palm becomes such a problem because it becomes a numbers game rather than a skill game. Um, do I actually want to fight into this? Not especially. No, not especially. So if I don't take any hits for a turn, we're ahead. So where can you get to? So I'm actually going to just peace out, right? Where can you get to? And yeah, I give away a load of a load of yardage, but oh well, I don't get hit for a turn. Um, plus two mighty blow is ridiculous. Yeah. I bravely suggest running away. Yeah, I am running away. And if you think about the strategic element of this, what am I trying to achieve? Well. Nothing for the first four turns. If I can use the Deploy the Wizard on turn five or six, take the ball off him, and then go and score on turn seven, I'm one nil ahead. If I use the Wizard on turn two and take the ball off him, there's every chance he scores on turn eight and it's 1-1. One, one. So the Wizard is a deployment tool to be used later. Um... 
Um, WC part piling on is it 45? Yeah, it's it's spammable piling on as well. That's the problem. Spammable piling on is a problem. Where's the bloody mouse gone? There it is. So I've got so many things open right now. Um, it's quite difficult to keep a track on where everything is. Mighty Blow Plus 2 is in the new rules format. Yes, it is. Sorry. Um, um, oh, Wild Thing. Thank you very much for the raid. I feel like I missed a, a raid earlier. Um, wh who have I not said thank you to? Uh, Wild Thing. Just want to throw that out there. Thank you very much. It's very wildly unnecessary. Oh, oh Soul. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Um, oh, my word. How am I going to provide pronounce that? Uh, Z4... L. Gadice. Hi there. That is a name I am going to struggle with. I am very sorry for struggling with your name. Um. Um. I'm going to peace out again, I think. Right? I don't need to attack this. Yeah, let's do it. I don't need to. You stand there, I'll stand there. This is a really weird strat, I know, but... I know everyone's going, what are you doing? But actually, I don't need to attack this. So I'm not going to. Is this the DACA? Um, well, normally the DACA is done when you're on offense, not on defense. Um, what I'm demonstrating really is that the, the DACA can be done on both. So why running away rather than around? Because in a couple of turns time, um, I'm like a rattlesnake at the moment, I'm just like, shh, and then I'm gonna pile in. I intend to win, I just surrender, yes. And if I can not take any damage for three or four turns, when we get to the meat bit of this drive, which sort of turn five and six, um, I've, I'll still have 11 players. Well, nine players. Is it nine? Ten. Still have ten players. And I would imagine our opponent's going, what the hell is going on? Where did all the elves go? They're like, uh, I can smell dinner. Um, we've got fish bolognese on the back here. Uh, I quite like myself some fish bolognese. Uh, Andrew, 79, welcome to the channel. Are you real or are you one of those little bot people that live inside my computer? One is strategically resting on the halfway line. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh man, have we got one of these little bot people that lives inside my computer again? So good. At least it prevents you from getting plus three injury roll modifiers. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were going to see a monster fireball potential. Um, I think if there were seven players under the ball, I'd consider it. But with only a, uh, only a handful, not bothered. One, two, three, four. Okay, ten, three. Don't need to do anything crazy. Step off. Don't take any damage again. Still have a full theme for later. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Um, yeah, I think that maybe this is the last time I'm going to advertise this, but if um, if anyone is interested in any coaching sessions and they want to throw a five gift sub um, for the rest of today's stream, anyone who throws a five gift sub in there um, will get themselves a free coaching session if they wish. Um, 
you can just throw a five gift sub if you want but um or you can donate it to someone else um, but it is the last day i'm going to do that um particular promotion because what it has done and thank you very much for everyone uh, is it's given me a whole heap of extra emote slots to unlock which i'm now going to try and fill in so uh yeah there we go I wonder if our opponent's going to commit someone. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Eldorain, what, um, what is that? Is that a jackball one? He senses a trap. It is jackball's one. Jack's awesome. Love Jack. Uh, he senses a trap. He, I think he does sense a trap, doesn't he? Um, now it's turn four. And notice we've taken no damage on turn two, three, or four of his drive. Um, I'll request a chalice fireball emote. I do think we should have a fireball emote, actually. Or a lightning bolt emote. Um, yeah. I think we're going to waste one more turn. Hello, little one. Do you want a pedal? Oh, hello. Right, so our opponent's committed. And I think what he's going to commit now is this is where it's he's going to split his own team for me, uh, which is ever so generous of him. Um, and we're going to be able to do something. Uh, is this a DACA defense? Uh, yes, this is a DACA defense. The, the basic concept behind DACAing is that you just don't take any damage for a while. So when we looked at these two teams and said, our opponent is very strong, we needed to try and mitigate that problem. And the best way to mitigate that problem was um, to just not get hit for a bit. Um, trading space versus being hit. Yeah, this is me trading space versus being hit. Yeah. I think we're okay with that. I think. I think I'm okay with this. I also think this is the turn. If we're ready, I think. Are we all ready? Chat, are you ready? Uh, hello from Borky with Justicium. Hello, mates. How are you doing? Are we ready for the whiz fail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Laurie C and I regret to inform you um, that you're dead. Um... How's your little one, Justicium? We're both fine. Um, if you are looking for some Blood Bowl royalty right here, uh, Ball Pip and Justicium are two of the greatest Blood Bowl players alive today. <laughs> oh dear. I just think this is time. I think this I think I'm ready. I think it's time. Yeah, I think we're I think we're we're we're, we're ready. Um, so where do I want to actually want to go with this? So I think, um, I think we'll go here. We'll use the old wrestle trick. Uh, so on a 75% knockdown, this will be wonderful. Hmm. It's disappointing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... So we can get it on 2 plus 2 plus. It's a real shame that we didn't get that because I could have just sent in Miss, uh, Little Miss Sure Hands, um, but it didn't work. 
So we're going to have to ponder a different way of doing this now. I think we'll do this into there. Okay, I'm just struggling with the dice rolls. Where can you get? So you could surf me if you really, really wanted to. Charge you forward. And we've got... You're going to go in there and come back and fetch it. Um, that's not safe. One, two, three, four, five, six. That goes there. So, fetch that, get out again, throw. That means that's, that's a one dice and that leaves you vulnerable to attack. Um, so I think you go there. And now you're looking pretty pretty golden. So, in you go. Edge 5 doing edge 5 things. Um, now if we leave this and throw from the tackle zone, uh, it's still a 2+. Plus and you're now supporting the other blitzer. And then at this point, you? Oh, I think we re-roll that. God damn it. Um, so had he made that, we would have been probably away. Probably away. Seriously, first time you didn't surf that money, now he didn't get to surf two dwarves, I'm very disappointed with today's stream. Oh, what? <laughs> You've got that face on you where you're being naughty. <laughs> Papa Pig. Papa Pig. Getting wrecked by ones today. I mean, that one's, an, that one's a disappointment rather than, like, terrible. Uh, how much more TV was this Dwarf Team? About uh, 150. Snip snip. I'm snip. Okay, we're going to ask mommy for snip snip then. Go on then. Hello. Go and ask mommy for snip snip. Oh, you want to stay here? You want to stay here? Okay. Uh, so me and Techno are 1 1 playing a game of sevens. No, you can't have that. No. Mummy says no. That's all gone. No. 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 Um, he's going to follow almost anyway, so we may as well go there because then I can try and get around the side. Yeah. He was always going to follow. That's all gone, look. Huh. We couldn't knock anything over over four dice, and he's just gone pow, 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 pow. Which is a little disappointing. That got guard. Of course, it's got guard. It's a dwarf. Oh well. Me and HGO one one playing sevens. Eh. So he's already had to back off. So the wizard has already generated some value because um, he's already had to back off, which is wonderful. <laughs> snip, snip, you have to go and ask mommy for that. Go on then. Okay, um, where are we going to go with this? What are we going to do? Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Um, 
I think bringing the ball forward makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm seriously worried about getting crunched into the sidelines. Although, um, something like... Something like... One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, that's not bad play. Dodge there. Dodge there. Blitz there. Be around there. Makes a lot of sense. I think that's probably my play. Probably my play. Yeah, I did look at throwing the ball over there and being over here. We don't need to do that just yet. I think that's that's one for a later date. So you need to go... You actually need to go one more further forward. There we go. One, two, three, four. So you're going there. You have to go first because the blitz is going to be here. There we go. Now we can blitz. Now, how many more dice rolls am I prepared to throw at this? We can't leave this, so if we just run you away... Ugh, dodge. So, we've got to re-roll that, because I can't have you on the floor. There we go. And that gets me away from tackle now. And then we've got one, two, three, be there. That really shuts this guy down. There we go. Wonderful! Um, I like blitzing out this dwarf on 2 plus. I did look at this, right? 1, 2 plus to get through made a lot of sense. Um, the problem with the fail state was it was horrendous. The old Fincento. That's a chess move. That is a chess move. Um, just easy him, by the way. I, I I saw you were trying to qualify this season. Are you uh, necroing or are you playing something else? No, the little bit is going to have fun catching it in the snow. Fincento is a chess move. Yes, it's putting a bishop inside a, a wall of pawns on the king's side or the queen's side, isn't it? Just in front of where the knight goes. Oh, is it something else then? En passant. I'm not French, so I'm going to do that. I, I'm going to get that so murderized, it's unreal. Uh, we will wrestle you to the floor. Finito is something else. What is it? So curious to see where he goes. I wish this play, wish this guy was faster. So I'm assuming we're going to see the blitz here now. Yep. Do they all have guard? No. Oddly enough, one, two, three, four, five, six, three plus throw, two plus uh, catch, I'm through. It's a really weird way of doing it, isn't it? Um, I had a player that was in the way. Now he's not. <laughs> I had a dude that was in the way once, now not so much. So I need to make the other dodge because that's a four plus throw. So it's 2 plus 2 plus with a team reroll, and then everything else has got a skill reroll attached to it. Let's do it. There we go. 
And now to prevent my team getting murdered, um, we need to do something else. So stay away from piling ons. Two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So you can follow. Then we can blitz here. It's fine. And that's it. Unfortunately, I think I think Cauliflower is going to get destroyed. Translation from Randy's comment there, that piling on at the end of the turn was terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. Scoring on turn 8, low line scrimmage hits. No, this was his drive, so um, this will just go straight into the second half. Um, so he's got. I've got three KOs to try and get back, which is why I wanted a babe and I couldn't afford it. So it's not a done a done deal because I don't have this team currently. The thing it lacks is it doesn't have any tools to get through your opponent. Make that four KOs. But you get two KO rolls. No, I get one. This is his turn eight. On my turn eight, I'm banging the ball in the end zone. Um, and then it's half time. So, bad KO rolls, I could draw the game. Good KO rolls, should be alright. Oh, I see, right. You were guys, sorry, I missed the pref prefix, which is, go and score on turn 8, Andy. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, I'm not rolling any dice, and we're going to score. So, KO rolls... Ooh, if we all smash the like and subscribe button all at once, then maybe, just maybe, um, luck gods will be in our favour. So, 3, 2, 1, KO rolls. Yeah, that's alright. Thank you for liking and subscribing. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to say that was mostly YouTube. Dice gods are linked to sub buttons. Uh, Alderaan, they are actually, yeah. They are. That last didn't make up because I unfollowed, says Franny Clown. Yeah. Cheers, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but if you're watching on YouTube, you think this is real. I mean, live. Um... Dizzy best hit the dislike button. That's not true, Dizzy, now, is it? <laughs> Hello, Chef. Hang on, what do you mean tuning in? You were here earlier. Have you tuned out? It's gone for a while. Please don't leave me, Chef. Um, I used to have a really, like, a favourite person I used to stream to. Um, but they just abandoned me recently. Um, I don't know how I feel about that yet. I'm still trying to get over it. Anyway. Um, back to Blood Bowl. <laughs> Bothered oh, so funny. Oh, bothered milk. Wow. 12 months. That is incredible. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. Um, a joke, which the person will understand. Everyone else is like, Andy, you're an idiot. Shut up. Uh, so we are actually 1-0 up here. Um, so there's nothing to stop us doing exactly the same move as I just did. Um, again. So I probably will, to be honest, do basically the same move the second time. Uh, where'd the ball go? 
Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Right, two dice this. Woohoo! Don't push in that square because I'm going to need it. Two dice there. Right, what do we want to blitz? So we've managed to pin three dwarves using two dwarves. Um, what do we actually want to pin? That's got Pileon. Hmm. That's got Pileon. Well, I wonder. I wonder if we can taunt him into doing something bad. One, two, three, four, five. I bet we can. Um... Uh, it is, yes, Giraffe. I think the problem I'm going to have here is our, our friend here just has so much um, um, of the good skills that I'm going to really struggle to do anything. So I'm going to jam, jam these guys down here. You're going to go there as well, which gives me this, and I might be able to sneak through. So Cauliflower goes and fetches the ball. I think the problem I've got is... One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm having to throw on the ball on a three plus uh, next turn. So I know I can't throw the ball. Um, did Liam ever materialize today? Not that I saw. Bothered Milk, thank you very much. 12 months is an incredible amount of time to be supporting this channel. Thank you very, very much. F to Andy's favorite viewer. Well, I think they might still be here. Um, I'm getting grief in uh, Discord about it now. So I think they are still here. <laughs> Hello, Deuterino. You would be one of my favourite casters. Cauliflower would be one of my favourite chefs. Uh, you've forgotten to give Zunkie's whiskey. Raven, I haven't seen him. It's not that I haven't forgotten to give it to him. I just haven't physically seen him to give it to him. Dizzy's one of my favourite streamers. Which is T's one of my favourite Scottish people. Browning Clan's one of my favourite comedians. One of. One of. Uh, BB Jock says the big hole opening up. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. So we're going to run away from the two players here because that's not good. Uh, L plate's my favourite troll. I mean, yeah, L plate actually is my favourite troll. So I think we're blitzing and blocking here. I think um, we do have. All right, imagine a universe where you go there. I throw the block there. I block here and follow. Is that needlessly complicated? Is anything I do needlessly complicated? Um, I'm just looking at whether or not I can surf this. I think I can, you know. I just don't think I want to. I don't think I want to. I think that's the problem. That's got to be the blitz. It's got to be the blitz. It's got to be the blitz. Yeah, it's got to be. Ball's not safe. Stay put. You can go back to being over there. Right. You're going to go and stand there and cut this off. You're going to go there, you're going to throw that two dice. 
Okay, dwarves. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Throw the two dice here, and then we'll run away. Yeah, run away. I don't need to score, I suppose. So there is that. Let's do that. Andy, no, be sensible. This is not whether to go surfing in. No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. There's some awesome pictures. Fuck some red. Okay. It's t-shirts and shorts weather. So he does. That's that's um. It's unfortunate. At least it wasn't a power. Uh, sorry. At least it wasn't a break. Legit BB question, Andy. How do you collect the past dice based on agility and distance? Oh, okay. Um, so I happen to just sort of remember it from uh, tabletop. So uh, let's take this guy as a, as a as a as a baseline. I'll draw it on the I'll draw it on the screen. Um, so if you start in that square there, it's up to here. So it's there. Uh, ah, hang on, got that wrong. I need to put the points on. So if it was there, it's that play there. So it's there, and you can throw one off to the edge. So you can go there and there. Um, so it's there, and then it's again here. It's there, there, and there. And then it's off screen. So it's there, 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 and there. And then anywhere inside that range. Um, so it's basically three by one, or on a diagonal, it's two. Three by one, or two. Um, the second pass banding uh, is six by four. So if I just use, this is our base point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on, is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then four means that you can throw it anywhere, anywhere inside that banding there, and then the same on the other side. So it's a, it's a six by four grid. Um, six by four is nice and easy. Remember, it's a nice solid piece of wood in the UK. So six by four. Um, three by one, six by four. Three by one, six by four. Three by one, six by four. If, uh, if that helps you remember it, that'd be really cool. And then the third pass banding, which is long pass, is 10 squares straight forwards. And I think one off to either side. Um, so, yeah. Um, three, six, ten. Um, Paint Devo, yeah. Paint Devo should be in a moat. <laughs> Maybe. How safe is that ball? 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 If I was there, right, if I was there, what hits me at that point? Basically nothing. L literally, basically nothing, right? So we need to shuffle this out of the way. follow go and tag that dwarf right let's go and abuse some sure um sure 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 nerves of steel oh crap go and stand in your own way why don't you one so click him where can you get to so we can get to like there so there is fine for me off your puddle where can you get to? Hmm. That was a really bad place for me to stand. Really bad. Hmm. 
There we go. No. No, we just dodge you. One, two, three, five, six. There we go. And now the fun dodges. Oh, yeah. The fun dodges. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> oh, dear. Now the super fun dodges. <laughs> oh, now the ridiculous dodges. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. <laughs> ah, smug mode. Well, trust me, I'm a professional. <laughs> Do not try that at home, folks. It is liable to explode in your face. Um, there we go. Uh, Pepper just says, got to hand it to you, that's by far the quickest explanation of passing ranges and to know how them I've ever heard proximate. Oh, thank you very much, Pepper Chest. Thank you very, very much. For me, I'm lazy, lazy and slow. Computer does it. I'm going to print the board. Yeah. So we will knowing it better. Yeah, it does help, right? It definitely helps in just knowing what the pass ranges are. Uh, BB Jock says, bang it in. <laughs> Come on, Jock, take me for a drink first. NSL says that's the game one. Uh, it's looking pretty strong, yeah. <clears throat> I was be like, what? <laughs> what? What tackle zones? Oh no, he's dead, Jim. He's fine, Jim. <laughs> but, 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 dwarves can just click ball, click end zone, win, right? No, it's click end zone, click ball. They're that good. They click end zone, they click the ball, and they still win. If you're going to quote me, get it right. Come on now. <laughs> oh, dear. Striker needs to hold off for his life now. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I think I think PC that this is, um, yeah. People say our oh, dwarves are ridiculously good. That they are when you play their game, um, um, and I've not played their game. Right? Someone, I, someone, and I can't remember who it was, deserves a lot of credit. But someone said that one of the best stats in Blood Bowl is movement. Like the most underrated stat in Blood Bowl is movement, or skill in Blood Bowl is movement. Um, and I think they're absolutely right which is what have we done here we've used movement to get away from this this is why I hate elves eh. we have a new smoothie someone welcome to the channel I should have covered the ball here that's lazy that was, that was chalice levels of lazy is what that was Now let's pop it in. So he would level, and that gives me a, probably a tackle, I think. There we go. Rob and Roll Gaming. Rob and Roll Gaming, can I just check? Are you real? Uh, or are you one of those little bot people that live inside my machine? Um, down a player. Devastating news. Uh, we don't really need to defend this, so I'm just going to back off.
Moving more than six is unnatural and should be punished with death. Come on. Elves are fun. Um, Smoothie the Raccoon. Hey Andy, is this CCL? Yes, it is Smoothie the Raccoon. Uh, welcome to the channel, my friend. How are you doing? Are you from YouTube or are you from um, uh, from Twitch itself? Uh, and Rob and Roll Gaming is not a little bot that lives in, inside my machine. Um, <laughs> oh, he's not been through a soul tester. He could be a bot person. Imagine Rob and Roll. If you came here and you're like, wait, what? This is the Matrix. I've taken the blue pill. This would be terrible. I, what a way to find out you're a bot. You're like 23 years old. You live in northern Manchester. You think you're real. And actually, you don't. You're actually a bot. That would be terrible. Uh, what is this defence called? <laughs> uh, giraffe, completely correct uh, in the assessment there. <laughs> Cheeky Jimmy says, plot twist, I've been a bot all along. <laughs> Brandon Clan, how are you a shouty reality that answer Andy Davo? That sounds like a coaching session. I know, ask Duck. Honestly, he was devastated. Uh, more dreads if I lived in northern Manchester, I wish, wish I wasn't real. Oh, but it's got such lovely borders with bits of Oldham and bits of, is it Bury? I think it is Bury. Uh, actually, how do we know you were real? Because I am? This isn't even the withdrawn defence. This is I've won, run away. Yes, purple chest. Basically, I think this covers us off. Let's be considered a turtle if you have the ball. Hmm. What's the name of that movie about a man living inside a reality show? Isn't that the um, the oh uh, the um, I want to say the Cosby Show, but that's an entirely different show, so it's not that. <laughs> Brentley Chilbert actually actually had to press the please verify by checking this box you are not actually a robot. Uh, did you check it, Brentley, or did you click out opt out? Because I have actually put a little capture question in there that says opt out. The Truman Show, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is why I'm telling people this. It's possible to defend versus slow teams. Did you see the full game, by the way, Purple Chest? Did you see my first, um, my first drive? Because I played, um, I played basically what I'm doing now as the first drive, but I, I'm, I used a wizard to to explode him on turn five, stole the ball, um, and then flipped him and went and scored. Um, yeah, Mr. Rocket Crocker, what are you doing over here anyway? Oh, leave him alone. I like having Mr. Rocket Crocker here. So I watched a film with a partner and so less taxing. Eh. Congratulations on reaching Chalice round three. <laughs> I just caught up. Disgusting turn 14 double surf attempt is that team all over. D, <laughs> D, D. Pageant, thank you very much. Yeah, that... that <laughs> turn 14 was pretty nice. Um, turn 14 was pretty, pretty, pretty nice. You know each other from different game streams. Oh, right, okay. After two's of X-Wing. What, um, what you, were you, were you playing X-Wing, Crocker? Or were you, um, um, like, tabletopping? Or were you playing it on vi video game? Uh, oh, oh to joy, you need to watch the VOD, man. The, the VOD is worth watching, because the standard of Blood Bowl is up here somewhere. And, better than that, the commentary was amazing. The commentary was absolutely amazing. Uh, Dude Reno and Hellboy really did pull it out. Come with an H, how we doing? Can someone just link the VOD, VOD I'm lazy? Um, I think I'm going to put it up as you, on YouTube tomorrow, I think. I think. 
No, actually, it's going up on Friday. Sorry, it's not going up tomorrow. It's going up on Friday. Um, round three should be a really good game. Uh, yeah, round three is me versus Rick. Uh, that's happening on, on uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, at 4 p.m. if you live in the UK. At 3 p.m. if you need UTC to Chime Zone Translate. Uh, FX is streaming. Oh, awesome! Yeah, yeah, we'll go and we'll go and host FX. Thank you. It's a really good good shout, L Plate. Thank you. Tom with an H. Boom! One step closer to beating the Crit playoffs. I've got to win my game yet. I take it you won then. Congratulations. I need to get a definitely get a pizza in for Andy versus Rick. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I wonder who Rick's going to get in his, his casters. I mean, he'll have good casters. It's Rick. But will he have Dudorino and Hellboy? Hang on a second. I'm just hearing here. He's actually having a Dudorino and Hellboy. Oh, no. Vulcan Jackball. Yeah, they're good choices. They're good people. They're good people. Right, you're important, so go and hide. You're important, so go and hide. You're important. Guess what? Go and hide. Um, you're mostly important, so go and stand there. <laughs> oh dear. Um, you're important, so go and hide. After your match, you know, dual casting and streaming. Uh, probably. I mean, I've never done a squad stream ever, so I don't know what it, what it entails. Um, yeah. Two on grind. Yeah, cool. Um, am I still alive? Yes, cauliflower, you are. You're just you're being an edge of a screen. You're defending the the four most important players here, but you are definitely fifth most important player just there. So um, you're an edge screen rather than a full screen, right? And and basically, I put you on the edge that wasn't going to get punched. I am so unloved. No, look. I can see, yeah, if you actually look at this resolution, it looks like you're holding a chocolate brownie. You just put it to your mouth, and it's all gone. Oh, that's ruined. Ruined. Oh, well. Uh, should we do another one, by the way, chat? I'm off tomorrow, so um, I've probably got enough time to do another one. Would you like another game? You surely hit 300 during this somewhere. I didn't actually, Clown. No, you you guys all sort of kept leaving and joining. Um, um, you can blame Chef, really, because Chef took 20 people with him when he left. We were like entertainment. You should foul that Slayer. No, I don't think so, right? I think I'm just going to run away. I'm just going to go and stand out of range. He's going to, In fact, he's going to stand up. I'm going to blitz. Um, and then I'm going to run away. Will like more opportunity to feel better about myself by bashing somebody far more skilled than me. Yes, please. What do you mean, Luke? <laughs> right. Run away. Run away. He isn't going to try anything crazy, so just get these guys out of the way. Whoa, don't roll a three plus now. Uh, 
At this point, I'm not going to foul it, but I am going to stop it from jumping up and punching me in the head. There we go. Give me. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, fair enough. Nah, he, he seemed like a nice guy, right? Don't be a. Don't be an, an ass. I came back. Um, is there an admin around? It'd like to do a load of ad, uh, a load of challenges for the next game. I'd like to try and get sort of six or seven bets out. If we're gonna if we're gonna f have one more game, um, can we have someone to put their hand up and see if they'll do a load of um, predictions? Anyone Anyone wanna be game for doing a load of predictions? Can this strategy be used with Skaven? Oh, absolutely, yes. Absolutely, this can be used for Skaven. In fact, I tend to use it with Skaven. Uh, oh, Hog the Keep got the MVP, that's good. Uh, so we got 11, 12, 14. They aren't really slow at generating star player points, but look at the difference here, right? If I'd have tried to fight him, um, we wouldn't have given away 22 blocks and got four remo five removals, would have given away like 40 blocks and got smashed into smithereens. Right, what are you going to get is your level up. Hmm. Uh, I think we're going to give you tackle, because then you've got wrestle, tackle, dodge. Um, doesn't preclude getting agility five leap strip um, and having a tackle on the team while we wait for the blitzes to catch up is quite nice. So that takes us to 7-0. and 0. Um, Team's coming along. If you enjoy the content, please leave, like and subscribe. Any questions, I'll get back to you in the comments below.